Hey guys, Will here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool product template inside of Photo Vibrance. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna import in a background. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on import image, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on my background that I have selected in my folder here. And it's gonna ask me what would I like to create, right? So I'm gonna use the 3D parallax as a starting point to get me started on this project. So I'm gonna do select, and now it brings up my image that I've imported and I choose a resolution, right? Do I wanna keep it landscape, keep it in its full resolution size? Do I wanna make it square or do I wanna make it vertical? So I'm gonna build this for a Facebook post. So I'm gonna choose square and you can always resize and move around your crop depending on where you want your placement to be, right? You kinda of want it to be centered because this is a product thing, right? I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and I'm not gonna cut any objects out because I'm just using this as a background as is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select next and then next again. All right, so now I'm inside Photo Vibrance and I've got my background there. Now I need to bring in my product, right? So I'm gonna go ahead on the left-hand side and I'm gonna click on image. And then I'm gonna bring in my camera that I've already cut out here. And all I need to do is resize it to fit the stand it's gonna be on, right? So I can use my resizing squares and I can bring this down here and then size it up to the scale that I want it to be. All right, so next up I'm gonna add some text, right? So I'm gonna go over here to the left-hand side and I'm gonna select text. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up a little bit above my camera there. And this is where you can edit your text, right? If you wanted to make some adjustments and change what you wanted to say, this is a great place to start. You have the option to change colors, right? I'm gonna keep it white for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose a font and you can change it to different things that you see in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to Montserrat here. And then you can adjust if you want it, how bold you want it, right? I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go extra bold here. All right, and then I can resize this by using the resize squares uh, by clicking and dragging in towards the center there and it will then adjust my text there. All right, so I think that's looking pretty good so far. So I'll keep that as is. And then I, you can adjust line spacing. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the letter spacing and let's go ahead and make this nine. There you go, just to separate the letters a little bit. And of course you can give it, uh, your text different name. You can change your layer name right here is my text. Um, I can give it an animation, which is really cool. If I want to slide in um, from the left or right or fade in or fade out, you got some really cool options for animations for your text files. And then of course you can blend as well. Um, so we have different options here. All right, so let's go ahead and add some effects. So on the left-hand side, you've got the effects here. So I'm gonna select this and then it opens up the effects, but it starts with the overlays, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and move to the right and select effects. And then if I scroll down, I'm looking for the glass effects. So if I select this guy right here, it'll then add it to my canvas, which is really awesome. And if you go over here to the right side under settings, you can fit this and you, now you can see that it's a little smaller than my actual canvas itself, or I can expand and then it expands it to the size of my canvas. And if I left click and move around here, I can adjust you know, where it is that I want the glass brick to, to be centered at, right? So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and span that out right there. Looking pretty good. And you can flip it, uh, your X and Y's if you want. You can adjust the opacity. We're gonna take the speed and we're gonna make this slow. All right, you could also change your layer name if you didn't wanna call it that. You can add some more animations, which is really awesome. And then you also have some blending tools in here as well, which is really cool. All right, so if you look down here on my layers, you'll see I've got my glass pack and that's my first layer. I'm gonna drag that to the beginning there. Actually, let's go ahead and drag this to about right here. And then we've got our text and I'm gonna go ahead and drag that to the center just so you can kind of see these layers laid out. And then we've got our camera there, right? So we've got a nice layer system going on. And if I wanted to move them around, maybe I wanted the text to be on top of the glass pack, I could do that by dragging that on top of the text here like this, but I kind of want it to be behind it. So I'm gonna drag it there in the middle. All right, so we've got our stuff laid out. It's really cool. Um, now what I'm gonna do next is we need to add some camera movement to this. So if I play this back as is, you'll see that there is the motion that we've got as is just based off of the glass um, animations there on those effects. But let's create some movement with some camera action. So I'm gonna go ahead down here on the bottom under layers. If I go ahead and select camera, it turns on my camera and now I can start adding some keyframes and automating the camera to work for me. All right, so the first keyframe we're gonna leave alone. That's just where it's gonna start. All right, now what I wanna do is I wanna add a second keyframe and I'm gonna have this go at about three and a half seconds here. It's gonna start the next one. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna scale it up a little bit, right? So what we can do is we can have it scale to about right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose power two as my easing, right? And you can scroll through these and you can see what they do 
it kind of animates out what that easing looks like, which is a really cool feature inside of Photo Vibrance. All right, so I'm gonna select Photo 2, or Power 2, I should say, and then keep it on in and out. All right, so, so far, so good. So if I play this back, you'll see that it zooms in there on the your text here part, and then we kind of stop as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it a little more, right? So let's add another keyframe, and we're gonna go to about, you know, let's go about a little five to six seconds here. I'm gonna select this guy, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this, let's go with 8.8 there, all right? And then we're gonna change this guy, and we're gonna make it sign, and we're gonna leave the in and out as is, all right? Now let's add one more keyframe, so I'm gonna go down here and click Add Keyframe. Now I'm gonna drag this guy all the way to the end, and then we're gonna go ahead and zero him out, because it's zoom all the way out, and we're gonna keep it on power two, and let's go with an out, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and play back what we've just created here. All right, looking so good. We've got our camera that zooms in a little bit on our text there, kind of holds for a second, and then pulls back and reveals the full product again. And I like what we just did there. So looking really nice. And that is a quick way for you to create a really cool and powerful product template inside of Photo Vibrance. Hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create, and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial.